Happy Fermentation Friday! Here at the center, we do lots of different fermentation to process our harvests. This month, why not try out our Harvest of the Month cherry tomatoes in two recipes that can be used with green or red tomatoes. But first, let's go over some safety rules. Always ask for the help and permission of an experienced adult. Wash everything and store the jars in the fridge once you're done. When in doubt, throw it out. Always wash your hands first with warm soapy water. And wash the tomatoes by rinsing and soaking in a vinegar and water solution. You can make this recipe with green or red tomatoes, but if you use red tomatoes, make sure they're underripe. First, add your tomatoes to a clean jar. Then you make your brine. Add water and salt to a jar and mix. It is really important that you use the accurate amount of salt. Otherwise, harmful bacteria can make its way into your ferment and make you sick. Next, add the brine to your jar and add your favorite herbs and spices. I like to use fresh basil, chives, garlic, peppercorns, dill seed, and serrano peppers. Lastly, Use a Ziploc bag filled with water to weigh down all of the tomatoes so that they get properly fermented, and let sit for about a week. Oh, oh wow! They are busy and they pop. Why are they busy? What? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like healthy pop rocks. <laughs> Ooh, they taste like jalapenos. No. Jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Which do you prefer? I think I'll have to go with the green on this one. This is freaking me out a little bit. Check the description below for more resources and exact recipes.